In this new edition of The Week in Music, we're looking at all those buzzing headlines that have shaken up the music world. And boy, this week has seen its fair share of fresh new releases and as always, a scoop full of drama. So sitting on our list today is a sparkling new song from Ariana Grande, an absolutely bizarre music video from The Weeknd and some not-so-nice news about Jason Derulo. There's lots to cover and not a minute to waste, so let's dive in, shall we? For starters, Ariana Grande arrived with a dreamy new solo single after a brief hiatus from the music scene. The song's titled Positions and it features the pop superstar's characteristic soaring harmonies tossed up with her signature melodic runs. In the accompanying music video, Grande plays out her fantasy of what life would look like occupying the top position. President of the United States. It's all the more impactful given that the song dropped mere hours after the second and final presidential debate of the 2020 election. I don't know about you guys, but I think Ari has served majorly with this track. Next on the platter, The Weeknd just added a fresh thread to his After Hours universe with the chilling new visualizer for his track, Too Late. Standing at almost five and a half minutes, the music video follows two fans on their dark little escapade. This, of course, involves picking up The Weeknd's decapitated head, taking it home and finding a new body for the R&B superstar. Featuring blood, gore and more disturbing themes than you can count on your fingers, the After Hours universe continues to leave us hooked. And finally, earlier this week, Jason Derulo found himself in hot water over his latest remix of Savage Love featuring BTS. So here's what went down. After the remix scored the number one spot on the Billboard Hot 100 charts, Derulo put up a video celebrating his win and tagged everyone involved in creating this track. Except BTS. The band's fan base ARMY immediately caught wind of this and called out Derulo for not giving due credit to his collaborators. Labeling him a clout chaser, Jason tried to remedy his mistake by putting up a separate tweet thanking BTS, but with no luck. Well, the band's fans are called ARMY for a reason and here's hoping that Jason treads a little more carefully in the future. Well, that's that on this week's edition of The Week in Music. For more buzzworthy content like this, just stay hooked to indigomusic.com.